Good morning guys, how are you doing today? Today is November 25th, 2017 and I'm coming to you today from Alkaline, Nevada. Uh, this is a, the spot that I'm at right now is a hot spring. This is a uh, privately owned, privately owned property, privately owned hot spring. Again, it's uh, Alkaline, Alkaline, Nevada, just outside of Goldsmith and Tonopah. I found this site on freecampsites.net. And I'm gonna pan around and uh, show you a few shots uh, of the area here. I'm not gonna get up totally close. Um, I do want to say a couple of things before I get into this video and talk about a few things. Uh, but I just want to make a disclaimer that this is private property. And we, uh, when we first arrived here, the owner uh, of this land was actually at the hot spring and was using the hot spring. And he basically said that he only comes out here uh, on special occasions, like when there's a solar eclipse or a comet or um, he was out here on Thanksgiving day um, and he could be out here anytime he just says that when he when he is here that he uh, doesn't want anybody else using the hot spring or he doesn't want anybody else around but he said that when he is not here uh, it is okay to uh, to come to come out and enjoy it just you know don't leave any trash behind pick up you know leave, leave the area better a lot better than you found it pick up any trash haul it out with you um, we <clears throat> he did give us permission to spend the night um, on this property so I uh, just want to make a disclaimer and, and let everybody know that uses it and the um, if you go to freecampsites.net uh, there's a there's like two reviews and one of the reviews pretty much explained and said everything that I just said about um, uh, you know, acknowledging uh, the owner's uh, rules. So, uh, anyways, you know, with with that being said, um, there are no signs explaining what I just said. But I just want to put that out there and make sure that any of you that want to come out and check this area out, you're welcome to do so. But um, use those guidelines that I just said and be very respectable to the land and the property. And and you know, this is privately owned. This this is not. BLM or anything else so um, you need to really really respect it when you are out here and leave it better than you found it so um, I'm gonna flip it flip the camera around and show you a little bit more here um, I'm not gonna go up and directly show you the the uh, the hot spring but I'm gonna point the the hot spring is right over there and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it there's a couple of poles sticking out and it's a really small hot spring, really, really small, probably uh, only enough for about two people to really enjoy it. Um, it was very, very warm. It was, it wasn't warm, it was hot. It was, I'll have to, I'm gonna say it, it was hot when I first got in it, but it's really, really, um, it was really, it was, it was great. It was nice, it was, it was, uh, it was refreshing to, to check it out. Um, I'm not sure what that building is up there. I haven't actually gone up and looked at it. It looks to be like a, uh, some kind of a trans, a transformer uh, substation, I think is kind of what it is uh, up there. But this area, guys, is is absolutely amazing. I've never, and this is the first time in my life I've actually experienced, you know, being out in wide open spaces with like nothing around. Um, there are power lines and stuff like that that run throughout the the valley here, but at night it's complete darkness. There's no cities around. There are wild herds of donkeys and wild horses yes i said wild horses guys this is super super cool out here and uh, uh during certain times of the day uh, this is another thing that i'll add the owner doesn't also like people camping or parking vehicles overnight um near the near the hot spring on that land over there he like he, he wants people to park like over here where we are so that um because what happens at night or well, at random times during the day, the horses and the mules and the donkeys, they they come over and they drink from that little pond over there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it where I'm pointing at, and um, you know they they kind of uh, can they can sniff out people really really well. Oh, actually, there's a car over there. It looks like somebody's spending the night. I didn't realize that until now. But so he asks that people 
kind of don't uh, invade that space and you know be respectable to the way animals that's where they drink the that's where they the 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 drinking hole that's where they they uh, get 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 water but there will be wild uh, antelope that will be they'll come in herds like I don't know if you can see but out there in the distance there's uh, some horses or mules and uh, they all they're all in little packs they travel in packs and there will be wild antelope that will uh, be coming through here as well and it's just amazing guys like this is the first time I've ever experienced anything like this in my life and like uh, it's just it's it's wicked cool like I can't really even explain it like it's uh it's just, just wild wild west out here and it's like going back in time almost but the views here are amazing uh the desert just goes on for miles and then you get to see the mountains in the distance um we stayed a couple of nights here and we're gonna we're gonna move on and you know we don't want to over overstay our visit here but we are very appreciative of um the owner was a super really nice polite guy and and uh you know we we want to respect our stay here and and uh you know leave uh enter on good terms and leave on good terms is uh you know our philosophy here so but i didn't want to share and show and tell with you guys a little bit of where we've uh some of our uh adventures here and where we've been on our trip and we've just been really enjoying the peace and quiet and serenity of nevada um we are gonna keep uh moving on to some new locations that we've never been to. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. More to come, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and remember to have an awesome day. Bye-bye.